Hello, everyone. This is Madison Star Moon reporting to you live from Long Beach, California. I'm here with my new friend, Destiny, that I just met with her grandmother that happened to be walking by this power grid. Now, what's interesting about this power grid is it's actually hosting a disguised death tower. If you could, would you pan up and let them see the heinous atrocity that is microwaving the city of Long Beach and the unsuspecting residents who don't even know that it's here. I actually just showed her and she didn't even, she had never seen it before. And I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Don't be shy. Now, do you know what, um, do you know what a death tower is? Have you, you know what a cell tower is? Were you aware that they were causing you any type of radiation? No. Okay. What do you know about cell towers? Um, that I think they give off electricity. Alexa, do, you think they're, do you think they're harmful in any way? I don't think so. Okay, well they are. They're actually detrimental. They cause cancer and radiation. Here's Grandma. Do you want to come in? you want to come in? Ask her in Spanish. Grandma dijo que si quieres venir. Yeah, come on. Está haciendo una entrevista. Yep. Está enseñando de la torre esa que es malo. Ajá, que da Can you come in here, Grandma? Okay, so what we have right here, you're looking, uh, well, let's scoot over. Shouldn't we scoot over a little bit so we can get these cables and stuff? So as you can see, at the trunk of this monstrosity, we have these large cables that they actually go all the way down to, with copper spreads out like a tree trunk, like the roots, and it goes through and it creates a false electromagnetic floor. All of this is detrimental to our cells. These monsters are literally fracturing our DNA. Now, is this the first time you've heard anything like this? Yeah. Okay, do you know about chemtrails? I'm just throw. Yeah. yeah I do. Okay, tell everybody what you know about chemtrails. I know that, like, whenever we see those planes, like, I'm into all that conspiracy theory stuff, so, like, when we see those, like, little trains, like, I mean, uh, airplanes, like, people have told us, like, oh, it's ice or something, but I've heard it, you know. That's fantastic. You're doing a great job. They tell you it's water vapor. They're lying. Now, how old are you? I'm 21. 21 years old, folks, and she's already aware of the chemtrails and everything, but she wasn't aware of 5G. She didn't know about that, and she also doesn't know about the danger of these hidden monsters. And I've, I've used that word over and over again to tell you guys, these. each one of these antennas is live. It's producing radiation that is going through the cells of your body. That's a form of, um, I don't want to use this word. Can I? It's a form of destruction of your cells. I, I was going to use another term, but I don't want to scare you. But um, this is, don't you live, you live around. Right next door. So you live right next door to the disguised death tower and you didn't even know it was here? No. I mean, that's scary, folks. So you see how nefarious this is. And she said that, come here, Grandma. Come here, Grandma. What'd she say? Si, a todos. Oh, she said if it hits everybody around here. Me de cancer. Uh, um, operated from a tumor that she had. So you've already had a tumor and did she have cancer? Uh, colon cancer, yeah. So you've already had colon cancer and been operated on. That's horrible. See, that now you live right next door. You could sue these people for this. So what you're going to do is, what you're going to do, because she doesn't understand English right now, but what you're going to find the company that hosts this tower, you could sue them for causing her cancer or whatever. And actually what you should do is go up and down the street and talk to your neighbors and find out how many of those people have cancer or have had cancer. Actually, the manager, the manager, I must have murió el manager. The manager just passed away. For cancer. Four days. Like four days ago. Four days ago. Just the manager right here just died four days ago from cancer. Do you see, guys, that this is not a theory? This is a fact. These are just random people that happen to be walking by while I was doing this. This is sad. Look at Grandma right here. She doesn't understand what I'm saying, but poor little Grandma. Oh, yeah. I don't know what else to say, guys. This is really tough, but I want you to see the face of the people. Put it on, Grandma. I want you to see who this is hurting. This is hurting this sweet little innocent lady and her granddaughter, who happens to be very bright. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you, Thank you for letting us know. Yes, my pleasure. And you want to go ahead and get the, uh, I want you to show that trunk again and the pan up. Good job. I want to do my little sign off. So there's nothing out there. Uh, we have tons of death towers everywhere, but they're not disguised. They're just out in front of God and everyone, but it's nothing like here. You guys are being completely destroyed in Long Beach. What do they do para? I told her that she has to sue the company. Yeah. 
Yeah, because, I mean, that's probably what caused your cancer, Grandma. All right, guys, this is Madison Star Moon, and this is going to be my last video in California before I go back home to Virginia Beach. I want to thank all of you for following our work here, and um, God bless America. What else can you say? Thank you.